I'm Vera Gandhi and welcome to my 5 minute podcast called 3 tips. In this short podcast, I share 3 tips on all matters of life and just about every topic or situation imaginable. I like to walk the talk and will share my real life experiences as I give you 3 easy tips to shift closer towards finding answers to things. Today we will talk about 3 tips on being a good leader. A leader is someone who can direct human efforts in the best possible direction to achieve the best possible outcome. A leader looks at the pros and cons of a situation as well as different ways of accomplishing goals and should effectively communicate these to the team. Therefore, strong analytical skills and developing a process that the team can understand and implement with ease are important. As a leader, it's good not to ask anyone to do anything you would not do yourself. Next, if you ask for something to be done, having directed it, be 100% responsible if something goes wrong. It is also important to compensate everyone fairly and reward them by telling the team or the person what they did right, along with monetary or accolade compensation. As we discuss three tips on being a good leader, a leader should stay abreast of the project until it's done. Because as a leader, there might be challenges that need answers that only you can provide. Above all, when you select people to work for you, trust them. When I think of leadership in my own life, actually, my thoughts go back to my earlier experiences of leadership on student councils. I always thought of leadership as service. For me, it was a way to help solve problems for other people or to put forward ideas that the group might be passionate about. Being a leader was joy, as I loved interacting with all kinds of people understanding different points of view, and finding solutions to problems. I remember sitting in the Jesus and Mary College canteen in New Delhi in my late teens, eating my chana batura and drinking karak chai, accessible and available as a leader should be. Upholding values of honesty, integrity, and rightful living, and not hurting another human, are very important leadership qualities. Basically, I call it staying true to one's inner compass. So in conclusion, my three tips on being a good leader are, the first, be compassionate. Compassion is that emotional trait that enables managers to become strong leaders. The second, deliver on your promises. Never disappoint those who work under you. The third, of course, lead by example. Encourage cooperation, giving back, and love in your team. Here's to you being the best leader you can. Until next time, this is Mira Gandhi and 3Tips.